aim to determine the velocity of sound in air at 0 degree celsius using resonance apparatus and to compare frequencies of given tuning forks apparatus resonance apparatus tuning forks rubber hammer and water the apparatus consists of a metal tube arranged on a wooden board there is a transparent side tube which is connected to the bottom of the metal tube this transparent tube is placed on the meter scale the zero of the meter scale coincide with the upper end of this tube the water level in the transparent tube are at the same level hence the reading of the water level is taken from the transparent tube the bottom of the metal tube and the transparent tube is connected to the reservoirs by means of a hard rubber tube
determination of velocity of sound for a tuning fork of 512 hertz at first resonance trial 1 is 16.6 trial 2 is 16.7 therefore the mean of the trials is 16.65 at second resonance trial 1 is 50 trial 2 is 50.1 therefore the mean of the trials is 50.05 the value of vt is 34662.4 cm per second similarly for a tuning fork of frequency 480 and 426 the values are as follows room temperature t degree centigrade is equal to 29 degree centigrade average value of vt is equal to 34165.74 cm per second velocity of sound at 0 degree centigrade is equal to v not is equal to vt into 1 minus t divided by 546 which is 34165.74 into 1 minus 29 divided by 546 which is 32351.07 per cm now let us see how to compare the frequencies of two tuning forks ratio of frequencies of two tuning forks n1 and n2 are n1 by n2 is equal to l2 dash minus l1 dash divided by l2 minus l1 n1 is equal to frequency of the first tuning fork n2 is equal to frequency of the second tuning fork l1 is equal to first resonating length of air column with first fork of frequency n1 l2 is equal to second resonating length of air column with first fork of frequency n1 l1 dash is equal to first resonating length of air column with first fork of frequency n2 l2 dash is equal to second resonating length of air column with first fork of frequency n2 for a tuning fork of n1 frequency first resonating length trial 1 is 17.7 trial 2 is 17.6 and the mean of the two trials is 17.65 for the second resonating length trial 1 is 53.1 trial 2 is 52.8 the mean of these two trials is 52.9 similarly for a tuning fork of frequency n2 are as follows therefore the value of n1 by n2 is equal to 0.94 Now let us see how to determine the frequency of a unknown tuning fork. Frequency of the tuning fork n is equal to v divided by 2 into l2 minus l1. v is equal to velocity of sound in air which is 340 meter per second. l1 is equal to first resonating length of air column with tuning fork. l2 is equal to second resonating length of the air column with tuning fork for a frequency of the tuning fork n2 first resonating length l1 trial 1 is 19.8 trial 2 is 19.8 and the mean of these two trials is 19.8 for second resonating length l2 trial 1 is 59.4 trial 2 is 59.4 the mean of these two trials is 59.4 therefore the value of n is 427 hertz the frequency of unknown tuning fork is equal to 427 hertz precautions the resonance tube should be set vertically the excited tuning fork should be held with its prong horizontal and they should vibrate vertical along the axis of the glass tube The tuning fork of large frequency should be used at the beginning. The resonance positions should be obtained for water level rising as well as falling in tube. The tuning fork should be vibrated gently with the rubber hammer. The prong of the tuning fork should not be touched with hand.